Hi guys and welcome to Motoskazi. In this video I'm going to show you how I turned the factory grey interior of my Firebird into these show quality tan interior. First of all, let's start with the seats because Kit had these PMD seats, the Pontiac Motor Division seats, which were very specific in their shape, especially the backrest. And uh, they came in the early Firebirds or Trans Amps. If you've looked at my seats very closely over the last month or years, you can see that these are not original PMD seats. The trick is that they are the original seats that came with this car, but my upholstery guy, who has uh, been doing these seats uh, for a number of years now, he actually learned to make replicas out of this, these seats and to make, well, replica PMD seats, meaning that he just converts the backrest into the shape that the PMD seat has, and he just removed the uh, original headrest and then got a like a C-shaped piece of metal that he welded on the existing frame and then basically worked his way up with the, the foam and the, the cloth and everything and I got a custom, well a custom, it's gonna, the upholster is done from the ground up so he re-upholstered -up and put some new foam in here in, this, in, the, in the center section and in the middle everywhere that's been kind of been, people have been sitting in for the last 30 years before I got the car and so the, he did for the, the back, but the back is basically just a factory style reupholstering. He didn't have to do much with the uh, with the foam inside because no one really sits in the back, so that was still in really good shape. So that is something that I came across in a forum a couple of years ago when I started, because the seats, the PMD seats. I mean, if you can get an original set of PMD seats, yeah, go get them, but because they were only made, to my knowledge, in the early years of the fiber production and everyone but Knight Rider wants to get them. You, of course, get a Knight Rider tax and all of these things. Getting your hands on a decent piece of PMD seats, original PMD seats, well, it actually doesn't really matter if the, the cloth is still in, in good shape because no matter what you get, you're probably going to have to redo them because you're going to want to have them in the same uh, cloth and shape and state as the back one so you redo everything but I'm actually really really happy with how these came out I wasn't really sure what to expect I had seen uh, these PMD seats or these PMD replica seats as I should, should say on different customer cars or pictures and he made a really nice job in integrating all this little I don't even know how to call this edge here that replicates all the elements that the, the original PMD seats have here in the middle and then these are PMD logos that I bought from Knight Rider World which are basically just stitched in because the original PMD seats have a little metal bracket where these logos uh, are glued in and then the metal bracket I think is just uh, clipped in to the cloth and uh, attached from the back before you actually put it on the seat or on the foam. But I'm really pleased that also the center section on the original PMD seats came out a little bit and I'm really happy that he uh, replicated that and like I've had the car now for three years been driving it for one year a little bit more than one year and put about I put about uh, what was it 8,000 kilometers and I've been driving the car for a bit more than a year now two seasons now the second season and it is still in very good shape and I try to drive longer distance at a time but sometimes I just drive 20 minutes to work and back. I'd say if you weren't a Knight Rider nerd or enthusiast should I say you probably wouldn't notice it and I do get if you insist on having the original Knight Rider uh, not Knight Rider the original PMD seats obviously here on the original PMD seats there's another there's another plate here that's fixed on this backrest but I don't have that and obviously I'm not gonna replicate that it's fine it's fine for me but even if I were to get uh, another set of uh, original PMD seats I don't think I would change them I, I love these seats it makes my car unique uh, the cloth is really nice it's uh, it's not the Barella cloth that everyone has on there or everyone like ma many one have want to have on there interior because that's the, the Parella was the one that they used in the show it came from the factory this is actually Recaro cloth and uh, my upholstery guy said that the Parella is actually quite difficult to uh, 
stitch because it's very thin and he usually he has done them before and he usually has to put another layer of cloth underneath it to give it more strength and uh, stability but this is Ricaro cloth and I'm really happy with them obviously I'm very careful and uh, as to when I get into the car to not uh, you know not stain them or not really eat in the car or not have a drink that would accept water that would stain them because everything is tan and everything is very light and it's cloth it's not like with leather where you can easily just uh, swipe it off like he did he did offer me to make them in leather and back then I said well no I want to have them in cloth because they were cloth in the show and I insisted on that um, maybe today it would change my mind even though now in the summer leather also gets really really hot but I really like them, they're very comfortable. Um, a couple of weeks ago I drove to Paris, which is about a seven hour drive without stops. And then day, back a couple of days later and I couldn't have been in a more comfortable seat than this one. And actually here, he put some leather in here in the, the back section where, you know, where it needs a bit more protection depending on what you, if you have your feet down here, if you have a passenger seat, here's my fire extinguisher. Same treatment here for the back seats cloth in the front and when I put the backrest forward um, we have leather here and on the back sides just in case I mean I have something I would store something that would rub against uh, the backrest that it's a bit more protected here with the leather and it's really really nice not that I ever really would put anything in the back but uh, well I do sometimes but not something that would really damage it it's not a cargo car Really nice. And then most of the other elements that are made of cloth are made out of the same cloth. Here is the uh, T-top headliner, which has been redone. This is the original headliner that uh, my upholstery guy strengthened again because by taking it out, I mean, they obviously they get old and a bit flimsy. Uh, they broke here and on either side in the back and then he re-glued it and strengthened it and also reupholstered the whole thing with this same Recaro cloth. Same thing for the sun visors. Ooh, yeah, I do have sun visors. And then for the doors, uh, not oh, before I get to the doors, actually here the speaker covers are the same cloth. And then the doors, you can see the door cards, they are semi cloth here. The top section is cloth over down here. And this uh, part here, basically where you might be inclined of kicking with your feet this is leather just like on the back side of the, the back seat and since I decided pretty early on in the process of, of restoring this car and converting it into uh, somewhat of a kit replica to not go screen accurate I didn't really care about using the same cloth or because kit didn't did have cloth here not leather so I wanted to have something that's unique to me and I really really love it also I did keep the cup holders that were originally in the car because it's just a practical thing to have and since I'm not massively into screen accuracy for everything and I do like to have uh, to add on features rather than taking them apart same thing goes with the rear glass even though I don't need it if you wanted to go screen accurate you take out the the glass and uh, replace this one because this is a heated one with a completely wire free one but I don't care about that now let's move on to the next step of making this car tan, which is all the plastics here. Well, there's different ways to go about. You can either just replace the whole set with a uh, factory tan set of plastics. There were different tans, I think. There were the early ones and then the beech wood, or I don't exactly remember all the different terms they were, but what I did is I just resprayed my existing gray ones with uh, SEM or SEM, depending on how you want to call it, light buckskin uh, spray paint. Leave the details in the description. Basically what I did, I took everything apart and obviously there's a video already on that out onto how to get the interior of this car. And then I washed every single piece, plastic piece of uh, the interior. Everything had to come out, everything got washed in the bathtub, everything got a good thorough clean on either side. Now it's time to clean the interior parts before I can paint them. I need to clean all of this. Almost the last piece of plastic that I washed. See here, these parts are already all washed with 
soapy water and then I degreased them and I spray painted everything with uh, two coats of uh, plastic primer and then I gave each piece also two to three coats depending on how good the coverage was of this light buckskin paint which turned out really well and even if you do happen to scratch some off because obviously painted on it will never be as uh, good as if the actual material was tan if you do happen to uh, you know scratch it with your foot when you get in and out which I mean I, I am careful but sometimes this is just a bit of color you can give it a little bit of a touch up if you just spray some of the spray paint into into a little cup and then take a brush and then put it on it really I've done it here before obviously here there's a little mark from the the spring here but something else came off and you can just use a brush and then just go over it it will go into it and blend in because you have this specific kind of slightly rough structure to these plastic bits and it actually blends in very very well so you don't see if you do ever do a little bit of a touch up with the brush you don't see that you have done a touch up it just blends in yeah it looks really good as far as the color tone i mean some people use the light buckskin SEM makes different tan or light brown uh, colors so I mean for me it's it's perfectly blending in with the cloth here this is for me it's exactly the same type it, I don't know if it, how it comes across on the camera on your screen but for me this is a perfect match the seats also it matches with the seats and uh, the only thing is I bought a replacement carpet this is I think medium doe skin carpet and that one is a little bit darker than uh, the seats. You can see it here. Also, sometimes the seats, the cloth, they look very bright or very like the the tan looks very light in the in the sunshine. But it actually, when it's sun the sunshine, they all look the same. So it's up to you. You just get a different option here. At the end of the day, every car is a little bit different, and just make it the way you you want it. And just so you get an idea, I used about eight to nine spray cans of this SEM light buckskin to repaint all the interior plastics, including also the little brackets here for the the seat belts. Let me just show you. Have you seen it before up here? And basically every single piece that was gray, I repainted in tan. And it's not necessarily a cheaper me method, depending on, you just have to add it up because I also bought uh, primer and then I cleaned everything and the time to take everything apart to clean it thoroughly in the bathtub and I mean I, I think I did I did do a thorough job on cleaning it because everything is in the pre good preparation when you spray paint something that the preparation is actually more important than the painting itself then okay you go over it a couple of times make sure it's covered but that's not the most difficult thing and that's also not the most time-consuming thing so taking everything apart cleaning it thoroughly preparing it primer it a couple of times and then painting it that takes time and at the end of the day it takes some money also because you're gonna need a couple of cans to do all that one more thing that I wanted to do just like it was back then as a Trans Am was to put carpet here on the on these inside plastic plastics well it's not the exact carpet that kit had obviously this is depending on the angle that you're looking at it's light and if you're looking from at it from another side it's quite dark this is just something I found in a hardware store that I went through different ones and uh, basically I got a couple of square meters actually a lot more than I actually needed but I, I'm always happy to have some spare in, uh, in case I need to replace some because it breaks and then you can never find the same uh, the same type of carpets even just five years down the road so I actually got some carpet and I uh, basically had to cut it all to to fit which was a little bit tricky here when it comes around the corner also that was quite time consuming I found out a couple of months after I had completed all of this that you can buy a complete set of all these carpets to glue on from a classic industry so what I also did was obviously get carpet here for the inside you can see that I used basically three distinct pieces to to do this because obviously with the bending both sidewards forwards backwards like a like a like a ball 
it was quite hard to stretch this so it depends on the material actually if you can stretch it or not but I used really good glue that stays uh, slightly soft also after it's dried so it will work with temperature changes and even here on the kick panel I redid the carpet here as well once again here I had to take actually I had to cut out several different small pieces but you don't really see it that much that especially here I used uh, several pieces to put in here because of the the sharp bands and the flexibility or the lack of flexibility of the product to uh, install it I mean it's not something that's necessary but I mean at the end of the day the whole car is not necessary it's just a passion last but not least the carpet itself this obviously had a gray carpet in before and the cool thing is I bought a brand new carpet well for the front you can choose either just like the the cabin carpet or the uh, trunk carpet or both I don't think you can buy the trunk carpet separately new but just either the front one the cabin one or both together and I bought a whole new set with uh, mass backing kind of the foam underneath it to give it a bit more uh, insulation but as you probably saw already that I covered everything in uh, sound deadening before I installed the carpet and I had to make cut out a bit more for the center console and then obviously I had to cut out all around here and the side edges to actually fit underneath the carpet because you have this uh, plastic cover here and the carpet shouldn't go over it otherwise you can't install uh, this car this plastic lid on over it so this took a bit of time and I had to kind of learn how to uh, cut to size and not cut too much out of it and also I got a little reminder here a little scar from when I wasn't really careful on the other side and had to get that glued she actually had to get my finger glued together when I was cutting this part to size indeed the first thing that came to mind when I sliced my finger is oh please no blood on the carpet this will never get out but that's just how much I love my car I mean I even bled for it the last part that I had to turn into 10 were the seat belts obviously these were the original seat belts were gray and how do you turn the seat belts into tan I mean I'm not gonna really spray paint the seat belt they're gonna be all stiff and it's gonna it's gonna come off basically the minute you use them so I actually found the company that was allowed that makes uh, all kinds of stuff with seat belts or they make conversion of cars to cars that are wheelchair friendly for disabled uh, people that need special setups and uh, also seat belts in a different way so they were actually allowed because it's all about rules and regulation of course and and with seat belts something as vital as a seat belt in case of an uh, in case of an accident you shouldn't really just uh, do anything and uh, I got that found that company in the south of Germany that uh, would do that so basically I took the seat belts out I brought them the whole thing and they swapped it out and because they were allowed to do that they use actually certified seat belt material and they restitched everything exactly the way that uh, the original seat belt was and uh, the cool thing is it matches it matches the, uh, the seats of course and uh, it's brand new because the old one was starting to at some paces to to come apart and this is brand new material so actually I've made my car safer by installing new seat belts and in relation with the seat belts obviously come also the seat belt buckles and if you can see I'm sure you can this has been painted but the paint here obviously is chipping off because it's always moving and also when I put the seat belt on this is coming off so what's what is not the case in all of the other places of the car because I mean it is it is quite sturdy and you can you can uh, rub on it with your fingernail it's not going to come off like this like easily but eventually it will so as I said before it's not as good as if you actually had 10 plastic bits here but what I am going to do is actually cover this in some cloth the same cloth as my seats are just wrap it on just just give this kind of a cover that uh, it will be covered up to here so this will be protected and it will all be tan. I've already asked my upholstery guy if he could make me these, given him the measurements, and basically like a sock. 
Now that you have it guys, this is how I turned the gray interior of my Firebird into the tan interior it is now. Obviously you'll find the links to all the related videos I made to this in the description and also some more information about the parts I used. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.